selfish sex goblins. Galactic Criminal here, and today we've got the Boynik Code. I was actually meant to check out a different track by these guys four months ago, but I gapped it. Pretty sure I got distracted by something else and then proceeded to forget they existed entirely. ADHD, brain, man, it happens. But they just dropped another brand new single a couple of days ago, so we are going to rectify that error. The boys were recently signed to Unique Leader Records. Congratulations on that shit, by the way, y'all are in good company. And they got an album titled Insomnia releasing October 13th. With that said, let us dig in the point of code. Slaves to machine. One. These guys are happy. Like, real happy. <laughs> Get it. Cool. What is this? Some root code? Oh, 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 
two years since I listened to these guys. I thought, what a great sound to these guys, man. It's like kind of like the, the symphonic deathcore that, again, has become very, very prevalent in the deathcore scene, but a little bit different. A little bit different. They have their own vibe to them. Again, it's been a while since I listened to them, but I remember them being very heavy, and they were most certainly that. And a whole lot of taka taka in this thing, man. Ah! Almost, almost satiated my hunger for the taka taka in this thing. And the music video, what a very, very cool and unique way, and it's very simple and probably kind of cheap way, <laughs> of not only doing a music video, but also doing a lyric video. I was very much surprised when I noticed that was like he started typing the, the lyrics in as he was going along and like just mouthing the words as he's typing is pretty funny as well. All, like obviously because of like the juxtaposition of how heavy the vocals are, you know, and then just like him barely moving his mouth to the words. Kind of reminds me of like um, Spirit Box, uh, Holy Roller, the music video for that. Where she's just where like Courtney's just kind of just talking the words, but she's like the scream is coming out. It's, just, it's weird in a very cool juxtaposition. I thought this was fantastic. And there's a couple other tracks, I guess, that released since the one that I was, I was supposed to check out and I was going to check out and didn't. I feel bad for that, but you know what? I'm just, I'm excited now. I'm excited now there's an album coming out. Not until October, which is a shame. It's too far away, goddammit. But uh, <laughs> close enough. Maybe they'll release another single before then. I will probably be doing a reaction to the one I was initially going to do at some point. We will see. <laughs> this was really good. I had a great time with this. The fucking the, the, the solo was great, but also like the riffing through the entire thing was fantastic. Obviously the drums were sick. Everyone did their part in this fantastically. The mix was absolutely solid. I have zero complaints. Absolutely zero complaints. What do the rest of you fuckers think of this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video. So you want to watch it for yourself, full screen for audio, and get the full experience. Here's always have yourself a fantastic evening.